All right, we're back. Uh, oh yeah, you can kind of see my my shirt says "Praise the Sun." Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's keep going. It said fungal waste, so yeah, here. We're next to the bug. But now we have the lamp. And uh, 1800 less you. And I could pay him to see his wares. But I'll wait till I have more money. We'll, we'll be back. This game always has insane music. It, for, like, the, this in this map you can really appreciate the layers. I pointed out how they it's all hand drawn and they have six layers on every frame. Well, here you can see like the front layer. In the water you can see the second one. There's a waterfall which is the third. I don't know how how the mushrooms in the back are layered, but you can see there's multiple layers of mushrooms up like on top of me and in front of me here. It's really beautiful. Sight to behold. Wow. Hello, my wow. friend. I remember you. You're the Waluigi troop. I'll just call them Waluigi's. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, apparently, they kicked my ass. Wow. Okay. Wow. Hello. They have weird interactions at times, too. Uh, oh. No, I want to go from there. I followed the shrimp to, to finish him. Oh, is there actually nothing? I came here just to kill a small shrimp. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh! Dude, I did it! That was. Oh! That's sick. It's clean. Huh. Alright. Does not open from this side. <laughs> um, Alright. We'll be back later, I guess. It's like this game's equivalent, it's not open from this side, it just doesn't tell you. Oh, oh. Dude, that was sick. Those guys, are tough. I just, oh, I honestly just want to run away from them. There's, which way am I going? Okay, this is cool. This might be dark without the lamp, actually. It looks like it. We have lamp. Oh, inspect. We remember the Elder. That's all it says. It's a monument. It says we remember the Elder. We'll be back later when we have uh, something. We'll come back later. Here we meet Man Eater Mildred. No, I'm kidding. Cloth. Aha, the tiny steps of a tiny creature. You got the look of an adventurer, so we've much in common. Searching for dangerous places, eh? Well, you're on the right track. A long necked critter warned me of a tribe deeper down, or your sorts. So she says, and I'm itching for some serious combat. Okay, a long neck critter tribe that are good warriors. I am sort of like you. I'm looking for combat currently. Honestly, uh, Cloth is one of my favorite NPCs in this game. You'll get to see why throughout this playthrough. I'll do her, her entire quest, but um, let's see what she has to say. Keep sharp, my adventurous friend. Stay alive and let's meet again on the road ahead. I can't wait to meet you again, Man Eater Mildred. I mean, Cloth. You're cool. I love you. Not in that way, though. Just as a, just as a friend. Don't worry. Oh. Damn. Sorry, but Hornet has already taken my heart. I think they just want to teach you how to platform with these mushrooms. And honestly, how they interact, actually, I'll 
I'll demonstrate this a bit. But um, they're really cool. When you don't press anything, you just bounce on them, and they each individually have like I can bounce on three different mushrooms, and they all have their own animation. It doesn't just all bounce when you go on them. And uh, it's the same for your sword, and it gives you different angles. And if you hit it with the tip of your sword, you can go higher. You can really control hard platforms. This game has like really tight controls. It's insane. So there's more here. I think this is just like a big room. Yeah. With something at the bottom and a few things to explore. So it'll be exploring. Shortcut, I guess? Yeah. Shortcut. Weird shortcut, but shortcut nonetheless. Oh. I guess in case you die. Maybe there's something at the bottom. We'll see. Kill me, please. Thank you. Oh! How? Oh. Mm -hmm. So down. Oh, Hornet! My love, where, what are you doing, Hornet? to the other side. Uh. Oh. What does this say? Here ends the pilgrim's way. Whole nest heart lays open before them. Proceed onward to share its glory. I want to go, but I can't go. Hornet, why you do this to me? I'll, I just wanted to talk with you. I wanted to get to know you. On with my adventure. If she wants to ghost me, it's okay, I'll ghost her too. No. Oh, actually, I'll be the bigger man and I'll find a way to reach her. But... There seems to be an area on the left. Let me go, big man. Yeah, it's Queen Station. What's up here? <laughs> okay. Got him. I hear you, Grub. Hello. How are you? Feels good. Uh, grub. The old Grub will be so happy. Elder Grub. So we were on the other side of this earlier. We couldn't go. Unlocked. More geo. You find lots of geo when you explore in this game. There's a bunch of stashes like that playing around. But anyway, yeah, from here you can go to uh, Queen's Station, rest at a bench, go back to town and buy stuff, but uh, I just want to explore so. We'll leave that stuff for when I have more money. I'm not even sure what I want to buy. Like, I don't want to buy pins, I guess. They're not really important. Nothing too urgent. So, again, rack up. Next floor. This place is amazing. Okay. You see here in the back, spikes with, like, masks on it. Meaning, like, they, that they killed a few bugs. So they're saying like we're warriors. They're trying. It's fear tactics. I'll show them that they're if I'm not scared and I kill many of them, I am the strongest warrior. That's what I, that's what I want to show them. 
here is the speedrun skip actually. You drop here. You like Yeah, you jump on that and you jump on the explosion, you can make it up there. That's for another day. <laughs> I wonder how you make safe states in this game. Uh, give me a second. Drink water. doesn't help very much here. I'll just walk around. Momentous mode? Or wasp? Momentous wasp. Wasp this. Momentous. Ah, they're actually beating the shit out of me. There's so this area is big. I want to explore. What's oh. Huh, I didn't see you wasp. Oh. Ah, I got them. Good stuff. There's more. I didn't. Oh, okay, the bottom may be a, a trap, but I still want to explore it. What's here? Wanderer is seeking death. Welcome. May you find swift end upon your claws. More of your tactics. Or maybe it's just to. Keep promoting how good, how strong they are as warriors, but you might be strong warriors, but I am of the knight. I'm kidding, I don't like his name is the knight, but he's not anything special. But he, but to me, he's special, he's my home. See that like uh, the thing I was talking about, uh, Thorns of Agony. It doesn't even give you mana. If you get hit, you hit the thing with the th thorns. It doesn't give you mana. So like, and it freezes time and it makes it a bit awkward. I'll change it. I forgot to change it. Oh bench! Talking about changing charms. Oh, I can't make it back. Wow, alright. That's good. So I think it it was saying there's a charm below. Oh. oh. And I'll fix that in a minute. Oh you can press pause in this game. Forgot. I'm used to Dark Souls. Cam died. I'll put it back later. Sorry about that.
All right, here we are. Fighting more mantis. Oh, these are just protecting G. Oh, all right, got it. Mind you, now. Oh, I see you up there. Oh, Mantis down here. And oh, the shot was overkill. I'll fight you with that Geo. Thank you. Oh, not dead yet. Thank you. I just need to look down more often. Oh, bench. Okay. Let's swap the charms out. Now that we have an, an extra notch. I can put Soul Catcher or Furry, I believe. Um, I don't know if we've read Soul Catcher, so I'll get to that. Furry of the Fallen is essentially red tier stone ring from Dark Souls. So when I get low on HP, I get a, I get bonus damage. And in this game, the bonus is pretty pretty good. If, if I remember right, it's like the 250%. Um, but it makes an effect around your screen, but anyway, it's pretty good. Soul Catcher, used by shamans to draw s more soul from the world around them. Increase the, the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with a nail. Personally, I love this. It means uh, you can shoot more often, which means you can deal more damage. Uh, all in all, it tends to be more worth, more worth it to have Soul Catcher than Fury of the Fallen because I'm always swinging and uh, you can cancel swings with the, the fireball. So. We haven't explored everything. We'll, we'll get we'll get to it for now. We're swing down here, I guess. Uh, okay, hello lady. Let's see if I can even do this yet. Master. We'll see what that is when we go to town. That was good. Yeah, I can't go up there yet. I need something. So, oh, I am satisfied with Dash Master. Um, yeah, let's read what it does. Dash Master costs two notch. Bear is the likeness of an eccentric bug known only as the Dash Master. The bearer will be able to dash more often, as well as dash downwards, perfect for those who want to move around as quickly as possible. I haven't played around with that much, but uh, I might might equip it a few times in this playthrough and have fun with it. Um, I feel like controlling with the fight stick makes it really easy for me to, to dash downwards and stuff, so I'll, I'll, I'll try that. Sorry, lady, I'll come back later. Oh, yeah, I don't need to fight you. We're not saving for anything. The geo wouldn't hurt, but... I guess I'll just fight most of them at once instead. Yeah, see? Easier. <laughs> I got lucky, to be honest. Anyway, let's go on the left. Looks like the entrance to their village, the, it was guarded, there's more masks, more fear tactics. Uh, I think you dash from here to get here. Nice. Alright. Ah, the Mantis village. This area is one of my f well, uh, well, I can't keep saying that, but um, this area, oops, this area is really cool. Um, it's the first area that you encounter actually tough enemies. The Mentis, they're pretty, they have good, they have a strong move set, and they're, sh they're tough at this point in the game. So, um, yeah, here, and 
As you can see, there's something up here we can't get. Same for this place. Something that we can't get yet. that jump. Oh, well, let's go down there. Alright. You see there's light coming from down here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's on the map. Nope. So I won't say anything. But, um, upcoming there's a... Uh, you'll see why I like this area so much. Yeah, when with Gathering Swarm you can kind of cheese uh, these Geo Fashes by doing this. It's funny. It's easier with certain nail upgrades, but... We haven't seen them, so... Here... Mantis... Take in the Mantis Claw. When sliding against the wall to jump again, Jump from wall to wall to reach new areas. Essentially, it's wall slide and wall jump. I don't know, you already had wall slide, but now it's wall, it's wall jump. It's really responsive. You can slide and then jump. You can jump from one wall to another. Like, really easily. You can jump, dash, and jump. Yeah, it's really cool. And here, they, they have Geo for you to like get used to the wall jumping mechanic. But, I love it, so I'm just going to keep going. My movement isn't clean yet with, with this, but we'll get to it. The truce remains, our vigil our vigil holds. The beasts are kept at bay. I guess they mean uh, their fear tactics are working. Once again, this is just like to get used to new platform mechanics. This one is like a bit of a challenge. They can as you can see with the movement in this game, they can make they can make really uh, interesting platforming puzzles because uh, from a wall you can either jump or immediately dash and then from the air like here I'll jump I, I can dash and then jump and then wall jump you can dash again yeah. the puzzle will get increasingly or the platforming sections will have some tough ones later on in the game they're enjoyable here you get that geo that I got a bit sooner than I should. All right, here we are. A few platforming sections. With enemies apparently, I forgot. <laughs> Hello, wanna fight me? Or are you just gonna stand there? Okay. It's okay. I understand. Oh, you just wanna fight like that, I see. I believe. Ow. That doesn't work out in my favor at all. Uh, but, I believe that if I go on the left here, I get to do a small putt. Oh, never mind. I guess it's from here. Yeah, let's go. Oh, it's much easier to do certain things. Well, all this for Geo. Good thing I have Gathering Swarm because most of these go in the spikes anyway. It's not like Spelunky, so I can't I can't walk in the spikes. It'll kill me. <laughs> I believe you're in the middle. Yep. Get the shortcut. Geo. Then also go in the spikes. Well, no, no. this one's good. 
What's the number I can get? Yeah. It's trying not to get hit. The plus on life, but. Failed. Okay, yeah. So, a new minute. I'll go explore here. We open the shortcuts, but essentially now we can just drop down, go to the right. Like, we don't, I don't have to kill this guy, but I'll do it anyway. Or not, he'll kill me, maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah, so here you can go on the right and immediately go down there, which, uh, something awaits. I'll see if there's enemies to kill, because I, I'll, I'll try to plus on them. Plus one. Ah, oh, I can't plus anymore. Automatically minus because I used the fireball at the beginning. Right. Now on the left here, it's gonna be locked, so not much I can do for now. All right. I don't think you have to go out by that way. You can go out below, but I guess that's the path I chose. <laughs> 